This is a nice, tasty, seasonal recipe. Uh, leek and potato soup, very, very creamy, very, very rich, and very, very smooth. We've got some simple ingredients. We've got some shallot, we've got some leek, uh, we've got some nice Alfred Bartlett rooster potatoes that you're gonna find in your supermarket. Tiny little touch of butter, and we've got some nice vegetable stock as well. So to start the process, we're gonna roughly chop our shallots up, ready to go. The leeks, we just quickly need to shred down and give them a quick wash. You know, this time of the year when the leeks are in season, what people forget is they grow in the ground. So it's crucially important to give them a wash before you cook with them. Otherwise your nice smooth leek and potato soup isn't gonna be so smooth with the mud. Pop them in our colander. We'll give them a quick rinse under the tap. And our potato, Alfred Bartlett, nice rooster potato. We've peeled it. And all we're going to do is just half it and again just roughly chop. The smaller we make it, the quicker the soup, obviously. So I don't want the potatoes too big in the soup. And leeks. Nice and clean, ready to go. So we've got a nice warm pan. We're ready to pop our butter in there and get the recipe on the go. So the butter goes into the pan. I don't want the pan too hot at this stage. If it's too hot, you're gonna burn the butter. We're just looking for that to melt down nice and gently in the pan. So when it melts down, we're gonna pop our shallots in first and just quickly sweat them off for a second in the pan with that butter. Once you've just quickly sweated them off for a minute or two, next we're gonna pop our washed leeks in there and again, just quickly sweat those leeks off with no color, just until they start to wilt down lightly for us. Again, it's always a good idea just to give that pan a wee stir, keep it moving throughout the process, stops any mishaps happening and burning those vegetables that are in that pan. So, my leeks and my shallots are sweated down nicely in that butter now. The next ingredients we're going to pop in there is our peeled and roughly chopped potatoes. We'll pop them straight in. Potatoes go in a quick stir just to get everything together. We're going to pop some vegetable stock in there. You could use chicken stock if you wanted. I always like to use a nice, low salt, healthy stock. We're going to bring our stock up to the simmer. We've got all those lovely flavours to come down. Obviously, we're hoping the potatoes are going to cook as well. It's going to take us around about 20, 25 minutes before I pop a lid on that. Quick taste, see where we are with the stock. See if it needs a tiny little pinch of salt. In this case, we're going to put the tiniest little seasoning in there. Twist the pepper. We're going to bring that up to the boil. As soon as it boils, turn it to a simmer. 20, 25 minutes, the soup's ready to get blitzed down in the food processor to a nice, smooth consistency. So our soup's been cooking now for the last 20, 25 minutes. We're just going to give the potatoes a quick check with a nice sharp knife. As long as the knife goes in cleanly, the potatoes are cooked. Our soup's ready to pulverize in the food processor. I'm going to take a couple of ladlefuls. I never really like to fill the food processor up too high, so I normally go for about half, three quarters full. And then we're going to pop the soup in and we're going to pulverize it for maybe two to three minutes just to it's a really nice smooth texture. So we're going to pop our lid on nice and safe. And then we're going to switch the machine on and we're just going to bring it to the puree. Soup's now ready, nice and smooth. And to serve while it's still nice and warm, just gonna pop in a nice bowl. No lumps, lovely, vibrant, fresh colours and flavour. And to serve, I would just take some nice double cream.
and this is so pretty to go.